Tom Holland is an actor who has surprised his audience with the versatility of his characters on the big screen. But besides that, he has made it clear that he is a great dancer and a fan of Rihanna. What does all this have in common? Well, it seems that the actor could explore a new stage in his career, and this time in the musical world. Do you want to know what we're talking about? Don't miss any details and watch this video. Fans anticipate a surprise appearance from Tom Holland as Rihanna prepares for her forthcoming Super Bowl performance. Our collective performance anxiety is high since Rihanna will be performing the Super Bowl halftime show. More questions remain unanswered than like, will she sing anything? Although she has a vast back repertoire, what will make the cut? Undoubtedly, Umbrella? Tom Holland, perhaps? Maybe. Kelvin Harris? The one with the wild, wild thoughts? Which of her former partners will make a cameo? Even on Super Bowl Sunday, is Eminem free? How will she dress? Is she going to move? People start to wonder if this pop star is match fit when she hasn't performed in public for eight years and hasn't toured in almost 10 years. The artist, who last sang live in front of an audience at the Grammy Awards in 2018, will be making a reappearance at the occasion. Fans, however, couldn't get rid of the idea of a Holland cameo once the NFL revealed that Rihanna would perform at the halftime show in 2023. During the lip sync battle episode of the Paramount Network series, Holland gave a dance performance to the smash song Umbrella by Rihanna in 2017. Erica Badu's Tyrone and Bruno Mars' 24K Magic were performed with co star Zendaya present. Then Holland appeared wearing a suit and hat and briefly sang a few lines from Gene Kelly's Singing in the Rain. The song then changed to Rihanna's 2007 hit Umbrella, at which point the Spider Man actor donned a tight dress and a black wig. It was praised how well Holland's performance captured the Diamond Singer. Fans, therefore, had no choice but to support the partnership when the news was announced. Quick reminder that Tom Holland dancing as Rihanna for Zendaya is the hottest thing that has happened in your lifetime or the next one. Another tweeted, If Rihanna is doing the halftime show at the Super Bowl and Tom Holland doesn't come out and dance to Umbrella, WTF are we even doing as a species? Something like that is the whole point of being alive. Another said, if Rihanna brings out Tom Holland at the Super Bowl, let's also remember that Zendaya was in the battle too, imitating Bruno Mars. Zendaya has much more experience in the world of music than Tom Holland. Will they take this advantage and could Zendaya also be a guest? Zendaya has re-involved herself in the music industry. The multi-hyphenate has resumed composing music almost 10 years after releasing her first self-titled album, collaborating with Euphoria composer Labyrinth on tracks for the HBO drama's second season. The former Disney star called her work on the tracks a little small toe dip back into music and thanked her fans for the positive response to the songs. I stepped away from music quite a while ago, for a number of reasons, but I still really love it, so the kindness and support I've received the past few days just for a little tiny toe dip back into some music means the absolute world to me. Thanks, she wrote. The day after the series finale aired, she applauded the London-born musician on Instagram. Thank you, bro, for allowing me to write, create, and share space with you on this very special song. I learn so much from you every time we work. Excited for what's to come the actress wrote on her Instagram story. Early in her career, the Casey undercover actress began singing, earning credits for Kids Bob in the Disney film Shake It Up. Her lone album, a self-titled debut featuring the first hit Replay, was released in 2013. Although she hasn't explicitly said why she left the music profession, she did discuss it in an interview with a 2019 publication, Paper. I think the music industry takes a little bit of passion away from you, she said. It sucks you dry a little bit. What I thought I wanted, it's not what I want anymore, especially when I think about what I had to deal with in the music industry." She added, If anyone asks my number one advice for the entertainment industry in general, but mostly the music industry, it's look over those contracts, every single word, and don't sign anything that isn't worth it to you. You are worth more than they will say that you are. What do you think? Would a show where Tom and Zendaya participate together be a good idea? Tom Holland has already shown that he has material for the musical world. Could it be his new project? 
A Super Bowl is not a little show, and Rihanna knows that. Rihanna has finally spoken up about her highly anticipated Super Bowl halftime show, letting us know precisely how she's feeling in the run-up to the event, and even dropping a small hint as to who might join her on stage. When Riri was doing grocery shopping at Bristol Farms in Los Angeles, someone had to inquire about the big game. Rihanna said that she is initially nervous about the performance, but she's ultimately eager to take the stage. The conversation then turned to possible musical partners for her. We were informed by TMZ that there is a list of nearly 50 names of potential candidates, basically everyone she has previously collaborated with. When asked about the idea of her longtime boyfriend and baby daddy, ASAP Rocky, taking the stage, Rihanna remained mum but eventually said something after the paparazzi persisted. Rihanna will make a significant musical comeback at the halftime performance. It has been six years since the release of her last album, Anti, in 2016. Rihanna has a lot of pressure with this project, since the Super Bowl is a show that is seen worldwide. There is even a ranking of the best shows in history. One of the largest sporting events of the year is the Super Bowl. Millions of people tune in to see the Super Bowl halftime show, while football fans across the world wait to see how the NFL season will end. During the halftime show, the biggest artists in the world cement their legacy for 15 minutes. The halftime spectacle was really simple for a long time. It would merely include one or two college marching bands. The University of Arizona Symphonic Marching Band played the Liberty Bell as part of the first Super Bowl halftime show in 1960. But in 1993, when Michael Jackson made the Super Bowl halftime show must-see television, everything changed. As much planning goes into today's performances as it does for the Grammys or the Oscars. Here, we only provide you with a few of the best performances. Shakira and Jennifer Lopez in 2020 Although Shakira and Jennifer Lopez weren't the first Latinas to rock the halftime show, they did so in 2020. Finding a performer for the performance was challenging due to Colin Kaepernick's blacklisting, but the Colombian goddess and the New York Puerto Rican hustler took the stage. J.Lo rode in on a stripper pole while Shakira performed the guitar. Emma Lopez, who is Lopez's daughter, made a brief appearance during the concert and sang Born in the USA by Bruce Springsteen. In 2015, Katy Perry. When Katy Perry performed at Super Bowl XLIX in 2015, she made sure to yell as she rode in on the back of a huge lion puppet and was pulled through the air while singing Firework. So what do you think? Do you think Rihanna's show will be great? And what do you think of Tom Holland accompanying her? It could even just be as a dancer, don't you think? Well, we'll see. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more news about your favorite pair and leave us your comments below. See you in the next video.